Hi, my name is Marla, and I represent Osborne Books and More. How many of you have heard of Osborne Books and More? Please comment below and let me know if, just say, hey Marla, I'm from so-and-so, uh, Colorado, and I've heard of Osborne Books and More, and I love it. There are few greater gifts than a love of reading. And then we have to keep that love alive. Very important that you have good books in your home for your children to learn to read. It's also equally important that you take the time to show your kids how letters and sound work, phonics, because they're, not, they're probably not gonna get phonics taught in school. Phonics in school is treated like salt on the table. And so they many school systems around the country believe that, oh, we'll just give phonics lessons here and there. Um, I remember a parent once told me uh, that, um, why isn't my child getting any phonics at school? And this was when I was a para. And I said, well, your child wasn't there that day. So pretty much, if your child doesn't attend school every day or he misses a class, he may or may not get the lesson he needs for phonics. Um, so it's very important that parents nowadays teach their kids how to read. The dynamics of sound and letter combination. The English language is probably the hardest language in the world to learn because they have 44 plus different letter combinations. And if the child does not understand those combinations, that child will not be able to crack the code when he is reading and doing more rigorous work. And if your child can't do the work in school, he will fall behind and further behind each year. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share with you some literacy tips that will help you engage, encourage, and help your child learn and become a lifelong learner. I'm also gonna share with you the five ways that you can save with Osborne Books and More. And I'm quite possibly certain that once you finish with this video, that you will absolutely fall in love with all our books. How many of you today love to save money and have great books in your home for your children to read and learn from for years to come? Please comment below. Please also comment the ages and stages of your children. And after this video, I will get back to you and help you pick some really good books for, your, for them to read and learn from. The first way to save is with collections. For our sweet new babies, our pirate wannabes, our princesses, our budding readers, and our researchers. We have so many. So one collection that I'd like to show you is this Osborne That's Not My collection. And this is one of our top sellers. Most people will have one of these in their home. And like this one, it's perfect for children to and up who are learning to read, who are exploring, who like touching the text. These are sensory books, as well as good for beginner readers. Um, so That's Not My B is a new title. Its tummy is too fuzzy. That's Not My B. Its hive is too rough. And so they're strong and sturdy. The pages are strong and sturdy for those babies who are on the rough. 
this one is an, another classic that's not my dragon and I my son absolutely loves this and one of the other little perks about this little book is that there is a mouse on every page and so many kids love these touchy-feely books um, they're one of the very first um, books that most kids will ex will have in their home. It creates language awareness, develops sensory. Can you guess how tall I am? Another top selling collection is Muddle and Match. This is a great gift for little ones. You could create superhero comics and crazy characters as you flip through the split pages and muddle things up as I'm doing here with silly sto character stories of sound repetition to help children learn as they play. Fun, fun book. And we have about four or five in the series. And this is probably the top seller and a lot of children who truly enjoy this book. It's great to help them learn how to read. Another great series is our Shine A Light collection. Brown's Simple Text invites young readers who might have trouble with simple words like caterpillar to imagine what's hidden behind a leafy canopy or under a pile of rocks. The reveal is brilliant. Let's take a look at one of uh, my books, Secrets of an Apple Tree, okay? And this book, let's see if you can see here. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna read, ripe apples have fallen from the tree. Can you see what happens to apple seeds that drop to the ground? And so you shine a light. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see the page, but you shine a light here and you can almost see it right over here what the seeds look like and then you turn it around and you can have them guess to see if they got it right below the soil an apple seed has split and grown roots the roots reach down to gather food and water and shoot pu pushes up from the seed and up through the soil it's also perfect if you're homeschooling and you're teaching about plant biology. So this Secrets of Animal Camouflage is perfect for biology uh, instruction. So you shine a light and let's, let's take a look at one of these. Um, th this book shows how animals camouflage themselves to hide from prey or protect themselves from prey. So these busy bees are collecting pollen from yellow and white flowers, but they need to be careful who's watching them. So you shine a light, you shine the light over here, and you can almost tell, you can almost tell what's, what's hidden behind. So this little spider is hiding in a white flower that little spider is hiding behind the yellow flower and there's a bee right there. So two white banded crabs spiders are waiting to pounce. The spider change color to match the yellow and white flowers so the bees don't notice them. Scuttle! Or to actually catch their prey. So that's one of our those shine a light books are actually the top selling books of all for upper elementary students. I never fail to sell these books at a vendor event or a book fair. Did you know that since eight, 1983, more than 1 million Americans have reached the 12th grade without having been able to read at a basic level, did you also know that 34% of Americans 
read proficiently. That means that 60% of Americans read below average or average. That's a problem. And I believe that our education system, if we're going to close the gap on achievement, that we should focus on literacy, that we should close the gap by strengthening our reading, by teaching reading, by teaching basic phonics in the lower grades. What can we all do about this? I personally recommend this next series. It's Extreme Adventures. There's eight to the series, eight books to the series. And it's perfect for those kids who say, I don't want to read. It's too boring. These books will engage and entertain boys and girls alike because they have non-stop action in them. And there's the whole entire series is full of cliffhangers that will hold your kids attention. They won't want to put them down including myself. When I first read these, these books to my son, he was in kindergarten and I was just starting out. And I remember reading these books and being like, Isaac, do you want to read another page, another chapter? Because I really want to know what's going to happen. It's that great. And, and every time Isaac, because I was engaged, he was engaged. And so these are great read-alouds for both uh, parent and child. Does your kid need glasses? Maybe this book, Little Bear Needs Glasses. The second way to save is with combined volumes. These are such a great deal. Because instead of getting one or two books, or three bucks at $6.99, you're getting a complete collection packed into one binding to save you money. The next way to save is with customer specials. And once we are done with this video, you can go over to my website and take a look. Uh, but these are books on sale for you. And when you spend $40 or more, you get to um, have an option on one of our customer specials um, at a discounted price. And these are great, customer specials are great for stockpiling your closet or uh, nice for grandmas at Christmas time. Fourth way to save is by hosting a party. If you're feeling like your wish list is getting a bit long, longer than you were expecting anyways. Hosting a show might be the perfect thing for you. With our special this month, you receive up to $150 more this month when you host a show. Isn't that amazing? Hi everyone, let's, let's play pretend hostess and let's pretend you're the hostess today and i'm going to show you what you can get this month just for hosting a show you can get 120 dollars worth in free books just for hosting and this is what it looks like okay so i'm you right now and i'm going to put on you this book okay let's pretend all these books are ten dollars just pretend just to make it easy okay I'm gonna also put this, this space book on top, okay? And uh, you really wanted the Shine a Light series because you know you're homeschooling. And so I'm gonna put that one on top. And then you have a couple preschoolers and you're teaching them about um, the clock and time. And I'm gonna put that one on top. And you have some kiddos that want a thousand things that go. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on top. And then let's say you're teaching them Spanish or they're learning it in school. I'm going to put that on top, okay? Um, you have a couple
couple uh, toddlers and you really want the measuring chart. So I'm gonna put that on top. And I'm gonna put that on top. Because you know, your kids really like bandages and they like sticking them all over the place. And then you have a couple kids that like bugs. So I'm gonna put that on top, okay? And then for your older kids who are learning to read phonics, you, you're getting, you, uh, you would like some phonics readers. And uh, you, you have some older teenager, some older elementary school students that want uh, some readers for themselves. So you're gonna put that on top, okay? And you know what? You want some half price books. So you're gonna get this reference book, this science reference book, um, because it's half price. And that's a pretty good deal. So you're gonna put that on top. Um, but you know what, you really, really, really want that um, Farmyard Tales. So I'm gonna put that on top as a half price books. And I'm, and as you can see, um, it's getting really heavy for me. And so, oh my God, that's what happens when you host a show. And the fifth way to save, well, by joining UBAM. Yes, this is truly the very best way to save, is to do what I'm doing, is to become a book lady with Osborne Books and more. And I'm building my team and I'd love to work with you. There's an awesome special this month and if you take a look at this, um, just for signing up, you can take away uh, a toot bag with $50 worth in books. Isn't it awesome? I have information on that for you if you'd like. Um, and my favorite part about this special is the toot. Um, isn't that amazing? You're gonna get a toot bag that's equivalent of a 31 uh, bag with $50 worth in free books. Isn't that awesome? It's your great, it's a great chance to start your home library. And who knows? There are no minimums. So whether you join just for the special or you join because you want to start a new chapter in your life, there is nothing you can lose and everything to gain. First 4,000 people to join get a two. So hurry up and join today. K4699 dot my you bam.com thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot about osborne books and more 